Yeah, look, it is. It's uh, it's always emotional whenever you you, know, you, you leave somewhere. Um, so yeah, look, it's it's good. Um, now it's coming the end of the season. And, you know, we can see finals football again. It's in the FC, and like I said, the boys did fantastically well to keep the season alive last night. So um, yeah, it's. It's emotional. Um, you use the word leave. Can we just clarify? You, you're aiming to play on maybe at a slightly lower level, but you're hoping to stay with the club. Oh, look! I've always said that um, you know I would I would never play for anyone else uh, professionally than Sydney FC. Um, I've had a couple of offers and a couple of opportunities to continue doing that in the A League, but out of respect to, to Sydney FC and to their supporters, um, I've decided against that. Um, so I will continue to play football. You know, I've always done. That my whole life, I've played football my whole life, and we'll we'll continue to do so at at a suitable level. So, what's uh, in store for you then if you knock back some other professional offers? Oh, look, I'll, I'll go away now with my. I've got a very young family. Um, Seventeen years I've played professional football, um, so I need a I need a break for a while. Um, I just finished my education as well, and um, so I look to look at other avenues. Will you definitely be playing in Sydney then? You'll be keeping your family in, in the city? Oh, look, we're not sure yet. Um, my wife's from Perth. Um, you know, as I said before, I always ever wanted to play for Sydney FC in the A-League and, and a professional level. So we love this city. Um, you know, we, we've been here for nine years. All three of my children have been born in Sydney, so we count this as home. Um, so I'd say we'll, we'll probably stay here. Yeah. You seem uh, fairly relaxed about the whole thing. Has that uh, got a fair bit to do with... With what happened yesterday, is it after a tough season? What, why are you so pleased that now is the time to, to call it quits? Oh, look, I've been in discussions with the club um, for a while now, so I'm, I'm at ease with the decision. Um, and it was just about timing, really. You know, we could have made the decision early in the season, but um, I didn't want to shift any focus away from, from the team, from the performances and from the results. Um, you know, yeah, I think today was a good time to, to announce everything, have an all but secured finals football. So, again, I didn't want to take any uh, distraction away from the team and from the focus of making the finals. And I think now is a good time to, to make it known. Uh, if the opportunity wasn't there to stay with Sydney FC, are you 100% comfortable that you're, you're leaving the club on your own terms? Yeah, of course. Look, I was the last player signed by Sydney FC, and out of that um, foundation group of players, I'm the last one to leave. So. Um, you know, I've put my heart and soul into the club, and I've enjoyed some fantastic moments at the at the football club. Uh, you know, we were the first Australian club to represent uh, Australia and Asia. Steve Corker scored the first goal for Sydney FC in the, in the Asian Champions League. Uh, so to be part of that, to play in the Club World Championships in Japan, uh, to win two championships, you know, these are the things that I'll never forget. And also with that, um, Sydney FC gave me the opportunity to to make, meet some wonderful people, um, and I've made lifelong friends that. Like I say, they'll be in my life forever.